Greetings and salutations, my name is Atma, and you know, Christmas happened a little while ago. Like, a long while ago. And I bought a bunch of random crap. Because I can, and it's cheap. And one of the random craps was Joe Devers Lone Wolf HD Remastered. I could have put any other voice on that and it would have been more interesting, but you know what? I don't care. It's apparently quite loud, so I'm going to quickly, quickly turn the sound down, and then we're going to find out what the heck this is, because I actually don't know. I don't know at all. Sure, we'll leave the reverb on. Everything else can say the same. We'll write my story. What I do know, because obviously I don't not know anything because I bought it, is that it's a turn-based RPG of some description. Um, hard, because I like hard. Enemies are tougher and they can attack you when a radio menu is opened. Maybe it's not turn-based. can get special items and more gold. Sick. You are Lone Wolf. Your life is not an ordinary one. You assess and counter all challenges with... Oh, I get to pick a thing. Multiple choice. Multiple choice menu lets you choose your path and write your own story. Pay attention to why you decide your actions shape the world around you. Awesome. Click each icon to display its description. Clear. Flashing icons. Okay. Loving the art style so far. You always prefer a straightforward and decisive approach, although it is often reckless. You carefully assess the details of any situation before attempting to overcome an obstacle. You rely on your dexterity and intuition to overcome any obstacle. Yeah, I'm gonna... dexterity and intuition, that sounds like fun. You assess and counter all challenges with skillfulness. Many are the battles you have fought in defense of Summerland, wielding your axes are balanced weapons for adding damage and speed. Maces are heavy crushing weapons, they are slow to use but inflict high damage, and swords generally do not inflict high damage, but they are easy and quick enough to take a sword then. With your sword, you are more than a gifted warrior, you possess special Kai. Kai? Yeah, look. And that's what it says, and it's not key. And it's Kai disciplines that give you a mastery of survival. Combines the skills of master tracker, hunter, and explorer. Healer restores your health and improves your meditation skills. Let's take survival. Mind over matter lets you manipulate objects in your immediate environment. Mind Blast and Mind Shield transform your mind into powerful psychic weapon and psionic shield. Can I go back? No, I can't. Shame. Because part of me is like, I could take the meditation thing and then totally be a Jedi. You're able to perform extraordinary martial feats due to your mastery of weapon skill. Animal kinship allows you to communicate with and influence most animals. Totally animals. Your sixth sense enhances your natural intuition, helping you identify and counter unseen dangers, and your camouflage allows you to blend in. We'll go with sixth sense. For Summerland and the Kai! Oh damn, son. Is this your story? Is this your past? Yes. Awesome. I'm, I'm digging this. For many centuries, the Kai Lords defended their kingdom of Somerland from the Dark Lords of Helgadad. Many battles were fought and won by the Kai, but finally came their demise. Three years ago, the Monastery of your Warrior Order was attacked by the armies of the Dark Lords. The Kai were destroyed. 
you were the only one who survived the final battle. All seemed lost, but you retrieved the Somersword, the one weapon that can slay a Dark Lord of Helgadad. You slew Zagana, the Dark Lord leader, and saved your kingdom from destruction. Now, the lesser Dark Lords hunger to take their revenge. It falls to you, the last Kai Lord of Somerland, to crush their evil schemes once more. So I have the burden of the task of an entire peoples all on my soul shoulders. Blood on the snow. Okay, you can turn the page during the leftmost part of the screen, or through a double click on the right side of the page. You can always go back to any previous page and turn chapter. Term interface. Click on the bookmark to open the term interface and assess its sections. They will let you access everything you need to manage your character and your story. Oh, that's satisfying. You are lone wolf. Didn't we read this? Nope. The last of the Kai Lords and sole survivor of a massacre that destroyed your elite warrior order. You would prefer not to be where you find yourself now, in a narrow mountain pass, blanketed with crisp snow, flanked by shadowy timberlands where icy winds whistle through the branches and chill you to the bone. You would prefer not to be here, but duty has called you to this remote part of your domain. You are the Freyal of this territory, and you are responsible for the safety and security of the hardy summerlanding folk who live and prosper in this harsh, mountainous borderland. You have received a disturbing report of enemy activity around the mining village of Rockstar. All communication with the village has ceased. Fearful that the settlement may have been attacked by Giax and other Darkland raiders, you have come here to assess for yourself the true situation. After a seemingly endless trek through snow and ice, you have almost reached your destination. Your horse becomes increasingly nervous as you approach the outskirts of the mining settlement. Hey, he wears a scarf and all. Like, I'm, I'm really digging this style. The smell of wood smoke is being carried along on the chill air, and its acrid aroma unsettles you both. This is not the reassuring smell of smoke that arises from hearth or furnace in the depths of winter. This is the smell of wanton destruction. Your heart sinks. You have journeyed here as quickly as the harsh weather would permit, and despite your valiant effort, you have arrived too late. May have arrived too late. Aha! Uh -huh. You decide to be careful. You don't want to waste any more time. Remember YOLO! I'm gonna find out what happened. You can detect the remains, remnants, of many footprints in the snowy ground. These prints are more than a day old. All have since been covered by fresh snowfall. Yet your Kai senses detect that they were made by enemy scouts. Gaia most likely. If a Darklands war party is operating in this area, they may have placed traps along the trail ahead to ensnare the unwary. It is an old Giak tactic, and one that you have no intention of falling foul of. The forest clings to the steep mountainside on both sides of the trail. The ground here is very difficult to, tra to traverse on foot, and impossible on horseback. It comprises jagged rocks and loose shale, interspersed with treacherously deep and narrow fissures, and they are all covered by a blanket of ice and snow. It will be a very difficult route to take, but if you were eight, but if you were to always keep the trail in sight, it would be a sure way to reach Rockstar. You dismount and pat your horse's head reassuringly. Then you retrieve your equipment and personal items from the saddlebag. The horse senses that you must leave now, and go ahead alone. He neighs, softly, yet sadly. 
Fear not, dear friend, you have fulfilled your duty with courage. Now you must return alone to the what? To the monastery where you will be safe. As fast as you are able, we shall not be reunited there before too. We shall be reunited there before too long. Your horse lowers his head and affectionately he nuzzles your shoulder. He's unquestioning Oh right, I can talk to animals. Right. That's okay. I I <laughs> I'm like, what the heck was that? No, I'm talking to my animal. I'm telling him to go back to the monastery. He now lowers his head and affectionately nuzzles your shoulder. His unquestioning love and loyalty warms your heart. With the last pat of his forehead, you send him on his way back along the track and the mountain road that leads to the Kai Monastery. You watch him go until he is lost among the trees, and then you steal your nerves and resolve to reach Rockstar as quickly as you can. Fortunately, you happen upon the remains of an old border ranger track and are able to follow it all the way towards Rockstar with relative ease. You tackle the difficult ascent with dexterity until you find that the way ahead is blocked by a vast wall of snow. This obstruction is the result of an avalanche that swept down the mountainside a few days earlier, carrying with it many trees and loose boulders. The village of Rockstar lies beyond this great wall of snow and shattered timber. I'm not sure Wild can help me go through ruin at like an avalanche. Just walk over it. Making a decision through the multiple choice menu may trigger an action event. Be ready for anything or face the consequences. You can choose how to interact with action events in the game settings. You can choose between keyboard or mouse interaction. In order to perform a precision action event correctly, wait for the external outline to touch the central circle. When the circle glows, click it. If you miss it, the circle disappears. Okay, we have sort of quick time events. Hey. Yay! Directional event. In order to perform a directional action event correctly, click and drag the arrow as suggested on screen. If you miss it, the arrow will disappear. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turning back now is not an option. Only you really have no choice but to attempt to. So you really have no choice but to attempt to climb over this great mass of snow and debris. Without climbing equipment, this proves to be a difficult and exhausting task. Yet your natural agility and dexterity prove more than adequate when put to the test. At length, you reach the summit of the avalanche and stop to catch your breath. From your elevated position, you catch your first glimpse of Rockstar. The roofs of its buildings are wreathed in smoke, the village is less than a mile from the base of the avalanche, and the remainder of the mountain trail head ahead is open and clear of obstructions. Encouraged by this, you make your way easily down the far side. When you reach the trail, you start to run. You have lost too much time already. You follow the road as it snakes gently through the high timberland, and it is not long before you see the path straighten as it approaches the entrance to Rockstar. A whirling grey spire of smoke is rising into the cloudy sky above this ravaged settlement. It's being carried along by the icy breeze that whips and howls through the main street. A rustling sound makes you freeze in mid-step. Slowly you turn to face the sound and you see a pair of hooded amber eyes staring at you from the cover of a snowy foliage. They are the eyes of a wolf. An old male with a distinctive patch of white fur in the center of his forehead. You sense that the rest of his pack is close by. Wolf pack leader nuzzles his way through the foliage and approaches you. Look, oh. hey buddy, you're uh, you're expanding. FYI. His thick grey body fur is highlighted with gold-coloured hairs that ripple and gleam as he draws closer. He is a powerful hunter, yet you have no need to be afraid of him. 
with a narrowing of his wise eyes, he warns you that great danger lies ahead. Yes, my friend, you murmur quietly. Yet face this danger I must. Here are my people, they are my pack. I am their leader and I must protect them. Oh, that's, that's a funky map. Yeah! We done did it. What map in the world map lets you decide which narrative section to unlock next. Pay attention when you choose, some decisions cannot be undone. It also lets you access the merchants you have unlocked. The world map can be accessed from the Tarum interface. Meditation is the skill that Lone Wolf uses to rest and recover vitality points, endurance, and Kai power. You can meditate only before leaving your current location, before triggering a new narrative section. If you are ambushed while meditating, you'll start with the combat session with your Kai powers on cooldown. Random encounters! While moving on the map, or during meditation, there is a chance that you will trigger a random Full screen view, how does one... Ah, that button. You don't sense immediate dangers. This is a safe place to meditate. <laughs> oh, I, I glow. Or I change colour. Let's wander to Rockstown Village Gate. Do you want to write? Yeah, well, yeah, that's kind of the point. The village of Rockstar was once a thriving, yay, and vibrant mining community, nestled among the slopes of the surrounding mountains. Life here on the borders with the Darklands is harsh, yet the villages of Rockstar are a hardy and industrious community. They are fiercely loyal to you, their liege lord, and to King Ulnar and Summerland. Now Rockstar lies silent and smouldering. The noise of its steam engines and its armory no longer echoes among the high peaks. Cautiously, you approach the entrance to the village. It is eerily quiet. The smell of wood smoke that you detected from a distance is now heavy with the cloying stench of death. You stare unblinkingly at the horrific scene that greets you. The blood-soaked and lifeless bodies of villagers lie strewn about the streets. Many were cut down as they fled, while others died fighting desperately to protect their loved ones and their homes. Recent snowfall has covered the slain with a thin, white shroud, sparing you the unsettling sight of their gaping, frozen wounds. All around, several shops and dwellings have been badly burned or completely destroyed by fire. There are too many victims hereabouts for you to gather their bodies and give them a decent burial. As is the customary practice in Summerland, the terrible price that has been paid by the villagers of Rockstar, partly as a consequence of your late arrival, weighs heavily on your heart. You close your eyes, raise your face to the cloudy sky, and make a silent plea to Goddess Ishia to gather and protect the souls of the slain. You open your eyes and advance along the main street, your nerves as taut as wounds, as wound steel wires. Then you hear something. It is the sound of bare feet on fresh snow. It is followed by the rattle of loose armor and a gurgling growl that sets your pulse racing. It is a gyark. Ok, ek, ok, ok, tag, jack, neck. It drools through its sharp, uneven teeth. You recognize the foul Gyark language and know enough of it to translate the creature's chilling utterance. I bring you a slow death. Your fears are confirmed by the presence of this hateful Gyark. Rockstan has been attacked by a Gyark raiding party. The creature stalking towards you is only one of many now occupying the village. The Gyark closes in and defiantly you stand your ground. You can expect to receive no mercy from this creature, and you will give none in return. Let's find out how combat works, shall we? Ah, oh, that's just cool looking. I got my sword. 
When the action buttons appear near Lone Wolf's body, it means that it is your turn to strike. Each button grants access to a specific class of abilities according to its position and look. During your turn, you can make choices before the yellow bar empties. You won't be able to attack or use consumables before the bar is completely refilled. You can perform three main combat techniques with the weapon in you wield in your main hand. A quick strike that is difficult to dodge or parry. A heavy blow that is slower but deals more damage. And a lethal combination of attacks. When a melee weapon is wielded in the offhand, it also makes special combat abilities available in the circle menu. And these abilities add a further layer of strategy to battles. Try them all. Define your fighting strategy. The green bar represents your endurance, which is the resource you use to perform physical actions, including all melee combat techniques and offensive action events. In order to perform a directional action event correctly, click and drag the arrow as suggested on the screen. If you miss it, the arrow will disappear. Get wrecked, son. Is he gonna... Gonna make an action, bro? Directional, pre precision directional event. In order to perform a precision directional event correctly, wait for the arrows to overlap, then click and drag as suggested on screen. If you miss, the arrows will disappear. In order to perform a precision action event correctly, wait for the external outline to reach the dim. Uh huh. Bing! Get tracked, son! Ah, oh, there's another one! Ugly mofo. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! No, I'm out of stamina. Kai Disciplines! Kai Discipline action button is placed over the belt. When clicked, it displays your Kai Disciplines just as the other action button would. It uses the blue bar. Your intelligence enhances the effect. Ah, ran out of time. They dodged! Get out of here! Get out of here, son! Debuff! Resulted status for both enemies and lone wolf. Each status has different characteristics and some of them can be cured with elixirs. Causes physical damage over time, so I think that's what I got. Uh, causes fire and holy damage over time. Causes poison damage over time. The target is stunned and unable to act for a while. The target is unable to perform melee and range attacks. Target receives more physical damage. Target is unable to dodge or parry. Target deals more damage but is unable to dodge or parry. Lone Wolf Kai disciplines are temporarily disabled. Lone Wolf's vitality, Kai power, and endurance are reduced by half at the end of current fight. Temporarily incapacitated and cannot act for a limited time, the enemy cannot attack with main hand weapon. Causes physical damage over the time that increases progressively! When debuff is active, Lone Wolf has limited time to defeat his enemy and endurance automatically. Regeneration is. Temporarily halted. Uh, I couldn't even. Range weapons. You've got the ammunitions. Throwing knives, crossbows, range attacks consume ammunition. Crossbow have firepower as their main status. It increases bolt damage. Get Shrek, son! I was too early! He threw a rock in my face! <laughs> Come on, dude! I don't like you at all. <laughs> God damn! Okay, you can use belt items to do stuff. I don't know what that was. I clicked it. I think I clicked it in time. Man, I look like a badass. I got absolutely wrecked, but I look like a badass. 
break both our fangs, Stephen. And you'd finally stand your ground. You can expect to receive no mercy from this creature, and you will give none in return. I'm gonna... Um, red bar represents vitality, blue one your kai power, and the green one your endurance. Each of these icons lets you action in different sections of the book, and these are your potions. And hold on to that. Change your equipment and arrange the items you will access from your belt in combat. To equip items or move them in your bag, just drag an item and release it over the highlighted spot. to show how awesome I look. That sword on the back, though, that's got a real Final Fantasy feel to it. Like, I don't know what the blade's gonna look like, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very Final Fantasy 12 with that thing there. Oh, we probably got loot. I should check. We got some throwing knives, some pines, you know, an entire tree. We just hecked it. Pick luck, because luck pick is too mainstream, and the finest leather pouch you ever did see. I'm gonna take them all, son. You derive no pleasure from killing, but if there is only one survivor, shall be alive in the, in the end. In the village, you vow to do everything you can to find and keep them safe. You turn away from the garks, corpses, and scour the surrounding buildings for signs of life. This part of Rockstone and its inhabitants were hit especially hard. It looks as if the Gearks wanted to make doubly sure that nobody could escape and raise the alarm. The houses and stores are badly damaged. Their once fine facades blackened and charred by fire. The closest building is nearer to collapse. Much of the roof has fallen in and its walls are cracked and whole. Above the smoldering door you can still see a sign and make out the inscription, Hanker's Store. The store is in such a dangerous condition that you feel it is unsafe to enter it. However, it has an attached warehouse that has survived virtually intact. You try to enter, but the door has been barred from the inside. Hmm. I can concentrate your mind over my outer powers on the door itself. Rely on the strength to bash the door down. Try to reach a large hole that you spotted in the front of the building. I'm gonna mind over matter, because why not? You concentrate. Whoop! Chart event. In order to perform a charge action event correctly, click repeatedly on the central circle or to charge it until it is filled. If you don't fill it in time, it will disappear. <laughs> Clicking so hard. Put your Kai powers to good use. You detect the door is secured by a plank of wood held in place. Can I make this away? Apparently not. By a plank of wood held in place by two iron brackets. These brackets have been badly weakened by the fire. You will the plank to rise up and whirl about the storm. Hear a loud thud, thud followed by immediately by an angry curse. Oxatog! The spinning plank has hit a Gyak hard on the head. You sense there is more than one Gyak in the store. Seizing the element of surprise, you throw the door open and rush into the store with your weapon raised, ready to strike! Ah, I'm entering the emotion! What up, haters? The name's Lone Wolf. And I'm gonna cut your shit up. When you are fighting two or more enemies, you can choose which to attack by clicking on him. Chug chug, suckers! Come at me. Yeah. 
Was I too early there? Uh, it causes hemorrhage? Yes. No, apparently. Right, because it doesn't cause time when I do that. Oh! Stop it! I will hemorrhage your face with my shield! Son of a poop. And click repeatedly until it goes away. No! No, son! Get wrecked. Psychic powers, mind over matter, go! That thing. <laughs> That's satisfying as all hell. That is not, however. It's like the not touchpad version of Infinity Blade, man. And all women. And I love Infinity Blade. Not that I own it. This was once a thriving general store, but it now lies in ruin. Its structure badly damaged by fires that were started deliberately by the men of Mamu. Marauding Garaks, they're not menacing, they're marauding. Seriously not menacing at all. Much of its stock has also been looted or despoiled by these unwelcome invaders. A map of Rockstar and the surrounding mountainous area hangs on the soot blackened wall. This mining village is built on a plateau of rock overlooking the sunken forest. The entrance to its famous Bronin Mines is located in the southeast part of the crater. Like wall of rock that surrounds and contains the wooded depression. You suspect that Bronin may be the reason why the Gyarks have attacked Rockstar in force. You search the debris that covers the floor, but there is little of value to be found. You're about to stop your search and leave the store when, behind the store's counter, you discover something that sparks your curiosity. It is a large wooden chest, and it is locked. Hello, chest. Pick lock. Is this going to be Skyrim lock picking all over again? You can rotate the pick by dragging it to the left or right. The pick will rotate around the lock. When you position the pick, you can try and force the lock with the knife. You can force the lock with the knife by dragging it to the left. You can't force with the knife whilst you are moving the pick. When forced, the lock will start rotating. Depending on the pick position, the lock will rotate more or less. When you find the right position for the pick, force with the knife, and the lock will open. If the pick is not in the right position and you force the lock, the pick will start losing durability. If you force too much, the pick will break. You can decide to give up any time by pressing the back button. Hello, Skyrim! It's a bit more elegant than Skyrim, but it's not as simple. That's that. Ignore that contradiction. It's it's fiddlier, but looks a lot cooler. I didn't feel like I was using the uh, like like 
anyone who's played Skyrim will know that the the locks in that have very angled edges, and you kind of end up using the corners as of the circle, which isn't really a circle as hints. I didn't feel like I was doing that, but maybe I'm not there yet. You managed to pick the lock, and now... The container lies open in front of you. You look inside and find some valuable items that could prove useful. Throwing knives, lemspur potions, a ladder, superior ladder, and some broad. I'ma take that broad. When you leave the store and return to the main street, a gust of icy wind bites into the exposed, exposed flesh of your face, and then the sudden chill makes you shiver. The winter sun is completely obscured by thick grey clouds, yet are unable to tell the time of day without its helpful presence. It is nearing the day. I'm going to meditate, as is my want. But my next task is a workshop. Meditation. It's like a microwave. But um, on that note, I think it's time for me to wander off. I'm probably going to keep playing this game. As this is almost purely a LOL channel, I'm pretty sure you don't want to see all of that, but I am going to continue to explore all the various games I've bought that haven't played. I'm, I'm working through my Steam list is what's happening, and you're coming with me, because it's a long and potentially exciting adventure. But this game is... It's, it's very much like reading a book that has pictures, <laughs> and the pictures want you to click on them. I am apt at describing things, apparently. Or apparently not. But, um... Yeah. Fun. Joe Deva, Lone Wolf, HD, Remastered Edition. Long title. Apparently there's a secret music track that requires you to input a not-so-secret code. I don't know what the not-so-secret code... Look, I don't know anything about this. What I do know is that I think it's quite fun. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye